Hey everyone, my name is Olaf, and in this video we're going to take a look at the uh, transportation add-on with uh, 50 vehicles and uh, more coming in the future. And we're going to take a look at uh, how it works and what you can expect from the add-on. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Now, before I install the add-on, I'm going to delete everything. So press A, then X to delete everything. And then go into Preferences then install and you will find the add-on link in the description it's just one zip file and then we install the add-on and after maybe a minute it will appear and then you enable the add-on and now let's go back to the viewport and uh, then press n and you will see the uh, transportation add-on appear and uh, here we have a lot of options you see the 4x4 bicycle classic cars we also have motorbikes as well as planes public transportation like uh, buses we also have uh, sedans and uh, sport cars like ferraris and suvs and a tractor and uh, trucks as well as uh, a bit more urban cars, like uh, the BMW Series 2. Okay, so let's add the uh, Audi Q7. And uh, then press Shift A, and I'm just going to add uh, a floor. Then press S to uh, scale. And uh, then let's uh, go into uh, render view. And uh, add an HDRI as well. We have both interior HDRIs and exterior HDRIs in this add-on. So uh, let's uh, choose this one, for example. And uh, this is what it looks like in EV. If we uh, switch to um, cycles, it's going to look a lot better. So I'm just going to use an exterior HDRI. And uh, then switch to uh, cycles. So uh, let's go into the render settings. And uh, you might make it look a bit better by switching the uh, different settings for the car. But uh, I prefer cycles. So uh, switch from uh, EV to cycles. And if you have a GPU, make sure to use it. And uh, this is what it looks like in uh, cycles. And you can also change the uh, material or uh, car paint for the car. So you can uh, choose between metallic, matte and shiny. So uh, let's try one of the uh, matte colors. And uh, then I'm going to hide the overlay. And as you can see, it looks great. So. Uh, Let's increase the uh, number of samples. And uh, next, we're going to take a look at the Lamborghini. So uh, press X to delete the Audi. And then let's add the Lamborghini. So click Add Vehicle. And as you can see, both the model and the materials look great. And you can use these models both for personal use and for commercial use. And as you can see, these models are definitely more than good enough to use for um, paid freelance work, whether it's uh, car related or uh, architecture related and so on. So uh, as you can see, changing the HDRI changes the look of the car a lot because uh, lighting matters. And uh, I think this uh, matte black material looks great on the Lamborghini, especially with a uh, darker HDRI. This is what it looks like in Sunrise. So uh, you have almost an unlimited amount of uh, variations by um, combining the different cars, the uh, different materials, and the uh, different HDRIs. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at uh, one more car paint material before we 
go to the next categories in uh, this add-on and uh, once again it looks great so uh, now I'm going to delete this Lamborghini so press X to delete and uh, next we're going to go to the bicycle uh, category this category only has uh, one bicycle which is uh, this one but uh, you can still customize it a lot by uh, trying out different materials so I think this one looks great and I'm also going to add a uh, darker material for the uh, floor now even though there's just one bicycle at the uh, moment you have to keep in mind that it will add more vehicles in the future so uh, they might add more bicycles in the future as well in uh, future updates at least uh, that's what they said uh, in uh, the uh, add-on page and uh, this is one of the uh, classic cars probably from the 1930s or 1940s and um, you can also change um, the materials for this one you can add the shiny blue, shiny white or a shiny red I think they all look great and uh, let's try one of the uh, matte materials as well the matte black which uh, also looks really cool Okay, so uh, let's delete this car and uh, try the Morgan Plus 6. It has uh, sort of a strange default color, so uh, you probably want to change the car paint of uh, this car when you add it. And maybe even change the HDRI. And I think it looks great in uh, some colors. I'm not a huge fan of the design, but uh, the model is uh, pretty good. And uh, once again, you can try out um, the uh, different colors. So I think uh, some of them makes the car look a bit nicer. Maybe something like this. Orange. Okay, so I'm going to delete this car and go to the next uh, classic car, which is the Rolls-Royce Silver Cloud. Which looks uh, okay. I'm not a huge fan of uh, this design either, but uh, the model is uh, very good and high quality. Okay, so let's take a look at the motorbikes. First, we have the uh, BMW, a uh, typical um, like uh, travel motorcycle which uh, I think looks good and uh, it looks especially good when you uh, change up the materials a bit so just uh, try out some different materials and uh, see what you like okay and then I'm going to delete this one and uh, take a look at the uh, Ducati which uh, looks awesome typical uh, sports bike and uh, you can also uh, play around with the uh, colors for this one. And uh, maybe uh, black looks the best. Now, I'm not going to go through every single model in uh, detail, but uh, I'm going to go through enough for you to make a uh, good decision on uh, whether to. Uh, by the add-on or not and this is the Honda uh, motorbike which I think uh, looks great when you add a uh, black uh, paint material and uh, then next we're going to add one of the planes so uh, let's go into the um, plane categories and add the Cessna 182 Skyline and for these planes you can't really change the material a uh, lot because uh, most of it is already a uh, texture but you can sometimes uh, change small parts of the uh, airplane so let's add the uh, Cougar Baron and uh, try out one of the materials 
And as you can see, you uh, change some of the uh, material on the propeller, but uh, not really much else. I'm just going to save the setup in case something crashes. And then let's go to the uh, next plane. This is the uh, Ellipse 550 SE. I guess uh, that's how it's pronounced. And uh, once again, you can't really change a lot in terms of the materials. And this is the uh, bus. Now the uh, bus materials works uh, much more like uh, the car materials compared to the plane materials in that when you uh, change the color of the paint, it's going to change the color of uh, most of the vehicle, as you can see. And I think the models under the uh, public transport category are uh, more than good enough for uh, use in um, freelance work. And uh, let's uh, take a quick look at the Hyundai as well, which um, I think looks uh, great. And then next, we're going to go to the uh, next category. So uh, press X to delete. And next, we're going to take a look at the uh, sedans. And um, as you can see, we have the Audi A7, which is beautiful both um, as this model and in real life. And um, let's play around with the colors. I think Audis look uh, great in red and white. And we can also take a look at the Mercedes S63 AMG, as you probably recognize. And uh, let's try out some of the uh, different materials white and so on. And uh, then next, we're going to take a uh, look at the uh, sports cars. So uh, X to delete, and then uh, go into sports. And uh, let's check out the Austin Martin first. And uh, it's a nice looking car. As you can see, let's make it shiny. shiny uh, red for example which I think it looks great and uh, now let's delete this uh, Austin Martin and uh, take a look at the Audi RS4 Avant and uh, you can change the uh, background image which uh, changes the scene a lot, as you know by now. And um, we can also take a look at the Ferrari, La Ferrari. I'm not going to change the material for the Ferrari because uh, we all like a uh, red Ferrari. And uh, let's take a look at the Mercedes AMG GT as well, which is an awesome looking car. And uh, it looks great in uh, Blender as well. Okay, so um, now we have uh, taken a look at the different sports cars. Let's uh, take a quick look at the uh, SUVs. They're not that interesting, so I'm just um, going to uh, jump through that uh, category. But I guess it looks uh, okay in uh, orange, for example. Okay, so uh, next we're going to uh, go into a uh, different category, which is the uh, tractor category. The uh, tractor category has both an excavator and a uh, tractor. And uh, I think uh, it's a nice model. It's not as uh, realistic as uh, some of the car models, at least in terms of the material. But um, I think it looks nice enough for uh, a uh, paid freelance gig, for example. And we also have the Lamborghini uh, Nitro tractor, which I actually think uh, looks really cool. And when you edit the material, we're going to uh, change the uh, color of uh, these parts of uh, the tractor, which is way more than it was for the uh, excavator. Okay, so let's delete it. And then next we can take a look at the uh, trucks. I'm just going to uh, add uh, this one and not the others. Now, when you edit the material, 
we're only going to change the uh, color of the uh, front of the truck and not the uh, container but uh, I'm sure that's fine and you can always uh, go into edit mode later and uh, change those uh, materials as well so uh, let's um, take a look at the last category which is the urban category this is the uh, BMW now with a uh, matte material and I think it's a uh, nice looking car and then uh, let's take a look at one more car before we end the video which is the uh, Kia Exceed I guess it's pronounced and if you want the add-on you can find it in the link in the description there's two packages one with around 50 vehicles and another one which is a bit lighter with uh, 21 vehicles but I'm sure you will have enough vehicles either way and uh, there's a lot to choose from for your scene. And that's it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and more tutorials coming soon.